Hey everyone, Technoman here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the assistive touch is not working or moving on your iPhone. So let's get started. Generally, the assistive touch is a virtual home button that you can use to control your phone. First thing I would recommend is that if you recently got a tempered glass or screen protector and you're noticing that that isn't working, it might be because of that. Another thing to do is also make sure your screen is clear, don't have any oil grease or anything basically that could basically be dirty and then that virtual home button is not going to be working now once you have done that the next thing to do is go into your main setting on your iphone from there on we're going to go to accessibility touch and then assistive touch here now as you can see here it's turned off of course if it's turned off for you make sure it's turned on so you can actually get this as you can see it's available now now let's say you had it turned on it's still not working turn it off briefly and then turn it back on to make sure that it isn't just a bug that causing it to not work another thing you want to do is where it says customize top level menu if you click on that i recommend clicking on that reset option especially if you move things around here click on that reset to reset it so that it's not causing any issues or want to reset this layout and then along with that make sure that this menu looks something like this so that you can do different functions so if you want to switch up between the single double or long press tab between each of these options you can do that for whatever you're looking for that double tap or single tap or long press to do as well another thing you might consider is where it says idle opacity basically if you want this to be more brighter you can move it up so if you don't see it maybe it's very low where it might be on your screen but you have a contrast on the screen it might be because it's very turned down so you're going to go ahead play with it until you can see that and make sure that it's something that's visible for you so there are some things you want to do as well now if it's still not working the next thing you want to go ahead and do on it is going to be to just simply uh, go ahead and force restart your iPhone in order to do that you're going to want to go ahead and press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button just like that as you can see here I'm holding on to that side button just like that it's going to say slide to power off but you do not need to touch that just simply Keep on holding that big side button just like I am here. And we're going to wait for the Apple logo to appear. At that time, you'll let go of it. And this is known as a force restart. Basically shuts down the phone software, reloads the code. So if the software-related issue causing your assistive touch not to work, it will go ahead and fix it. If it doesn't work the very first time, just try it again. And you may need to do it a few times to get the hang of it again. Completely safe to do. So just do that volume up, volume down in sequence before holding on to that side button. Now, if it's still not working for some reason, the next thing you wanna do is go into your settings, go to general and do a software update by going there and check if there's an update available. If there is, it's gonna show up here. You're gonna click on to update the software here. And if it says that your software is up to date, that means there's no update there for you. So go ahead and check if there's an update available for you. As you can see here, it will show up something like that, and you can go ahead and update it. Now, another thing to do if it's still not working after doing a software update, maybe it's simply it's not working, is going into your settings, go to general, go all the way down here, it says transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and you're going to reset all settings. So when you do that all, set, all setting reset, you're going to enter your passcode. It's basically going to reset things like network-related settings. So if you had saved Wi-Fi or Bluetooth-connected devices, you have to connect them again. Any custom keyboard dictionary will get reset. Any home screen custom layout will get reset. And any location privacy settings will get reset. Now, these are all the settings that will get reset. It will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, and such. And it's going to be something you need to do if it's still simply not working. So that's it for all the troubleshooting you can do to fix that assisted touch. By now, it should work for you, and I hope it is. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix it, leave it in the comment section. And if this video is helpful in any way, again, consider the donate button to uh, donate as well to support our small channel. And that like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.